How's it going, everyone? I'm the Star of Dave. Pink Fox is over there denying my startup. No! See? Welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Love you, too. Okay, so... Says the one who just yelled no like five times. You're denying things. You're denying the startup. Okay, so... At the end of the last episode, we got that crystal that's over across my head here. Um... Walkthrough says, come over here. Wait, do I have to... Is it this? Answer that question is yes. Is it, is it this? Yeah, yes, yes it is. Crystal of unsealing shattered. Oh. Objective charms attached to the door have completely vanished. It's now opening with no difficulty whatsoever. Why are they so dark? Seems you usable can... now. Will you be all right by yourself? Uh-huh. I'll, I'll, I'll be okay. Get to it, then. Thanks. Okay. I'm trying to balance out the talking with the music, but that's impossible, so... We're, we're, we're going we're to hear what we can hear. What we're able to. What the hell? Hello? Kazami? Kazami, is it really you? Kurosaki, you're alive! You too! Man, are you a sight for sore eyes. What? Who are you? Finally, someone else who isn't dead. God forsaken place that this is. I was at my wit's end just now. Let me tell you. Outside of this school, there is nothing but trees. As far as the eye can see. That's probably not good. I thought about braving the wilderness. But it seems like one of those forests of the lost you see in video games. Once you enter, you can never leave. I have never seen that before. And I've been doing these things for how long now? Fox says he hears my friends like, yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this place anyway? Damn it all! There are actually, honest to goodness, ghosts in here. You know? Uh. I think we may be stuck here for good. No way out for any of us. you see? Mitsuki. In the next room. She's dead. I just noticed this now you're on your shirt there. BHS. I, I don't... I, the first thing I saw that I... Remove the H and that's what I saw. BS. Th this boy, this boy over here. He's just, this is, he's just saying this is all BS. He's from a school. School called BS. Why? Why it's called that? I, I don't. I don't know. Yeah, I saw. I just don't know how to handle this. I feel like there's a certain number, a certain number of dead bodies a person's expected to see within his lifetime, or her lifetime. And I swear. In the last hour alone, I think I far surpassed my quota. <laughs> Just yesterday, Mitsuki dumped her boyfriend after finding out he was cheating on her with three other women. What the hell? She's been really down about it all morning. 
so I sent her stupid text messages during class to cheer her up. She seemed mad about it during study hall, but then she sent me a thank you message the very next period. I think I was actually able to lift her spirits a little. Now, though, she's gone. Killed by actual spirits. I guess it was those children. Pink Fox was attracted by her own mother. Sounded like. What? Uh, 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 huh? Huh? You know what? I stand by what I claim on that boy's original shirt. BS. I call BS on that. Kazami, what are, are you doing? You know what? The game's doing it for me. Oh! He's gonna shove him in the hole, isn't he? Saw that one. <laughs> uh, you know what? I don't even have to do it. Oh my god. Um. Yeah, he's dead. In these walls, doesn't matter if you're killed by them or killed by me. Either way. Or dead. Um, I don't trust you. Huh? Where? Itachi? Where have you been? Oh, you're in the infirmary. Did I not even check the infirm? I. No, I didn't. What happened? Where am I? Good question. Where are you? Was I knocked out? How'd you end up in the infirmary? Yuka! Yuka, are you there? Oh, boy. Is this the infirmary? Emily Host Elementary School closure date, 1975, uh, February 18th. Okay. There's a plaque inside the case commemorating the school's establishment. It's covered in bloody hair, pr hair prints. Hairs have prints now. As if someone were frantically, okay, pressing it. It's haphazardly crammed to bursting with crumpled up documents, newspaper clippings, and scrap paper. School scandals continue. Principal questioned on liability. The school? The many grisly happenings at Heavenly Host. School nurse reported missing. So this is a nurse, nurse's office then. Is that what this is supposed to be? I'm trying desperately. Ugh. I am desperately trying to avoid contact with like the memoirs because I know for a fact that the me I the memoirs give you a bad end, so I'm not collecting those. There's a blood-stained cassette on the floor. It seems to be from a digital video camera. Pick it up. Yeah. Why the hell not? Mini DV tape. Wow. The label reads, Kabiki Research Data 1, November 19th, 2005. What? Sasa? 
Salsa? You 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 want you want me to do the salsa? Just tell me and I'll do it. Just don't kill me, please. Uh, can I leave? Can I leave now? I I I I'm leaving. Bye. The door is completely fixed. In, uh oh. Where's the recorder? Where is the recorder? I'm assuming that's what what I have to use, but where is it? I can't interact with anything in here. What's the deal with that? Why can't I interact with anything? I mean, I got a little girl telling me she wants me to salsa, but I don't even know how to dance. I mean, I do, but not well. Um, Strange but true, stories of the occult, chasing down the hidden past of the cursed school building. It really exists, by Cal Kibiki. Give it a look. Nah, I don't think I want to risk a death. Thank you. And they host Bolton. An individual unaffiliated with the school broke into the building last night and killed himself. Wow. This is the third such incident. The deceased was a 72-year-old single male from a neighboring... Okay. The remains of a female student are sprawled out on the ground here. An ID name tag is still pinned to her breast pocket. Where do I go? Okay, the plaque. Papers. Sheesh. I've got the tape, but there's like nothing to play it on. only one other thing I can think of to interact with. Alright, fine. Sure. So this night on Over the course of several days, a series of incidents occurred within this town in which young children disappeared one after another. Their whereabouts were ultimately discovered through a thorough police investigation. But said findings were very much a worst-case scenario. Three of the missing children were found dead in a concealed room beneath Heavenly Host Elementary. This is, oh boy. Actually unused throughout the school's history. The fourth missing child was thankfully still alive, quaking in fear on the ground, presumably only moments away from demise when police arrived. Capping off this nightmare scene was an adult male member of the school's teaching staff who seemed to be in a state of confusion. In his hands were a pair of bloodied scissors. I swear I heard somebody walking towards me. The surviving elementary school student, after psychological counseling, gave official testimony fingering the scissor man as abductor and murderer. The staff member in question was officially charged with multiple counts of abduction and murder of minors, as well as desecration of the dead. He was quickly taken to trial, where an insanity plea spared him from prison or death, but resulted in his composure admittance to a mental hospital. Interestingly, 
The perpetrator of these crimes was none other than the school principal's own son, who was widely renowned for his jovial personality. However, due to a mental ailment of unknown origin, he began losing his ability to speak little by little during his years teaching at Heavenly Oaks. Once his speech was all but gone, he began searching for alternate places of employment, which occupied him for several months prior to the crime. The results of this endeavor were not favorable, however, and most of his days were spent staggering idly through the streets. His reputation quickly degraded. Wait. Is it, are we talking about the guy that just killed the student dude that we were thinking of earlier? Several months after his admittance to the mental hospital, he managed to slip past the many nurses on duty and escape the premises. Immediately upon doing so, he made his way into the concealed basement room at Heavenly Hills Elementary where he took his own life by hanging. The three children he had killed were all Heavenly Host elementary students. But the one girl who was rescued from the gaping maw of eternal slumber was not. What? Following her close call, she and her family moved to another prefecture far from the memories that no doubt would have otherwise haunted them forever. Sadly, this was only the beginning of the misfortune that would hereafter plague the school. It had already earned itself many an unsettling rumor. Over the next few years, Heavenly Hosts would become a stage for countless incidences of rape, molestation, and suicide. Wow! student registration and attendance dwindling at an alarming rate. In response to these crimes, the school was eventually shut down. November 18th, 1975. If I were to guess, the guy who did that kind of these crimes is the guy who quote-unquote helped Yuka look for her brother. The 60-year-old principal at the time had become infamous as an eccentric who adorned his walls, doors, and furniture with incomprehensible graffiti. Even later forensic analysis of the writings throughout his office could make little sense of his haphazardly scribbled Enumerations. And the day after the school's closure date was finalized, this aged eccentric threw himself from its. Wow! He broke his neck on impact, dying instantly. As you can clearly discern, the sordid history of this school is indeed awful. But there may be more to it than merely a series of unfortunate incidents. Power greater than any of us can comprehend may be acting as puppeteer from the shadows, maintaining an actual, tangible curse upon this property. That's in depth. Kind of weird. And the key to it all lies within the sole survivor the girl who bore witness to the brutal murders and mutilations of three children no older than she. The girl in the red dress, the one who got away. Wait. The only way that would make sense is that the girl's already dead. It just makes herself tangibly visible just cuz and pretty much plays puppeteer to the ones who actually did the killing. In other words, she's technically the one who did the killing. I wonder. I don't know. That'd be interesting. 
That'd be kind of an extensive spin on what a lot of these horror games do. My investigation into the supernatural side of this horrific massacre is only just the beginning. Rest assured, I intend to make this a regular feature. I've begun gathering data for a follow-up report. So stay tuned. The next issue promises to uncover more details in this morbidly fascinating story. According to this article, one girl survived the murders. But if this photograph is correct, then it's that same girl in the red dress we saw. She's behind all this. Pulling strings on some individuals, but she's behind it, if that's the case. Why would someone who wasn't killed here be haunting the school? Why well, don't I feel like she was, but long before? That's an interesting thing to think about. You know what? I'm going to see if I can leave because I can't find anything else here. I can't. Why would that be the case? I wonder if that was who we just heard while gathering the, 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 the whatchamacallit as well. This is all getting very suspicious. Either way, I'm going to leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Corpse Party. If you liked it, make sure to push that like button in so far you can't see it anymore. If you really liked it, consider subscribing to the channel. Have a suggestion for a horror game you'd like to see, a horror RPG you'd like to see on here? Let us know in the comments below. Want to check out one that we have done prior to this? Click the link in the bottom right hand corner and the train will take you to that destination. Or if you missed any of the stops on this ride, click the link across right here and the train will take you there. In the meantime, this train's off to its next destination, but we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye. Wow, that was impeccable timing. Okay, bye.